Hello, Recap Desk is here today to examine the 2016 crime thriller film Hacker. The movie starts by introducing the main character, Alex, and his family. They relocated to Canada with the hope of improving their lives, but financial struggles have made their existence challenging. Furthermore, constant arguments between his parents frustrate him greatly. Moreover, Alex states that he doesn't have any friends to socialize with. Hence, he spends most of his time on the computer playing video games or browsing the web. Despite the passage of time, the disputes between his parents persist. Eventually, Alex gets his first job clicking on a website where he earns $20 for every 1,000 clicks. Though the pay is minimal, Alex holds the belief that all significant accomplishments start with small steps. As he continues, he grows more intrigued with the financial realm and expands his knowledge of how it operates. Through his research on the internet, he gains an understanding of the banking system and its weaknesses. During a night where his parents are arguing, he leaves to grab a coffee. It is at the coffee shop that he discovers the notorious criminal organization known as the Dark Web, which holds sway in the digital realm. Upon his return, Alex observes his mother in tears and inquires about the reason. She tells him she has lost her job, and they are at risk of losing their home. In response, Alex goes to his room and presents the money he has saved to his mother. She is initially shocked by the amount, but Alex explains that he had intended to use it for college expenses. Despite her initial refusal, he gives her the money to help with their financial difficulties. In contrast, Alex strongly encourages his mother to accept the money as their top priority is to avoid losing their home. He is angry with the bank that terminated his mother's employment and wants to quickly earn more money. However, his attempts to find quick money on the internet lead to disappointment as he encounters various scams. Suddenly, he remembers the existence of the dog with criminal organization and decides to search for it. Alex is determined to find a quick way to make money and turns to the dark web. To gain entry, he must either be invited or perform an illegal act. He decides to use his computer skills to create a fraudulent website selling fake supplements. He targets a college bully named Randy, who has an obsession with Protein, as his first victim. Randy falls for the scam and uses his father's credit card to purchase the fake supplements. This gives Alex access to Randy's financial information. After sending the information to the dark web, Alex is accepted as a member. He is then approached by Roosevelt, a member of the group, who offers him a job as a black market trader. Roosevelt gives Alex goods at a reduced price, and Alex's job is to sell them for a profit. However, he is warned that this job carries risks. First, he must sell a couple of gaming laptops, which he easily accomplishes and earns good money. Alex sends Roosevelt's share and buys himself a new laptop from the remaining money. Alex believes he is in business and enjoys it immensely. He has already arranged 30 grand in for weeks, which previously took for years. One day, Alex decides to leave home and move to a big city for his studies. He learns that his new college will not begin until January and to sustain continues his black market booziness. Alex can now buy credit card numbers and fake it to shop online with those fake cards. He is able to get a few high-end Rolex watches. However, he can't sell it like he used to because there are too many cops in the new place. And putting his fortune to the test becomes a challenge. He heads to Chinatown to attempt to sell the watch for $10,000 each, but none of the stores are willing to buy it and some even suspect it to be stolen. But then, a man named Sai approaches him and offers to sell three watches for more than $30,000 with a commission of 30. Alex is skeptical at first, but later agrees to his surprise. Sai manages to sell the watches for $35,000. Alex is curious as to how he sold it so quickly. Sai says he will only reveal it if Alex tells him how he got the watches, to which Alex agrees. In the following scene, Sai reveals the secret to how he successfully sells the item. They both start selling different things and to become partners in crime, they can make 60 grand in a short amount of time. Alex sends the money to his family and keeps the rest for himself. One day, one of Sai's club friends named Robin hands them a credit card belonging to a foreign customer. Alex notices that the card contains a large sum of money. He is initially hesitant to hack into the account because it is too dangerous, but Sai persuades him to do so. Following that, they prepare a forged in and withdraw the funds from the bank without getting caught. The next day, Alex discovers that the bank that fired his mother is on the list of weak institutions. Consequently, he decides to exact vengeance. Following that, he enters the bank to hack the data. 
However, security apprehended him while installing a parasite on the computer before he can flee. The guards take him to the head of security and interrogate him. The security head threatens to call the cops if he doesn't tell them about the malicious software. Alex explains that the bank's security system is weak, so he negotiates, saying that he will upgrade the security system without any cost for letting him free as a direct consequence of his crime. Alex becomes well known on the dark web, said the creator of the dark web, also likes his work because of his popularity. Siren is a date for Alex with a girl named Kara. They agree to collaborate on a dark web business during their first meeting. Kara turns out to be more knowledgeable about the dark web and bitcoins. She knows how to make fake credit cards and how to use only in browsing. After having Kara as a partner in crime, their business expands in a short period. Alex is introduced to a girl named Kara by Sai and they agree to work together in a dark web enterprise during their initial encounter. Kara is extremely knowledgeable about the dark web and bitcoins, including how to make counterfeit credit cards and how to utilize only in browsing. With Kara as his partner, their business quickly grows and prospers in a short amount of time. One evening, Kara invites Alex to join her in Hong Kong to expand their business. Alex denies her saying he cannot leave his best friend alone, so lying on the sofa overhears their conversation and grows suspicious. One day, the three of them decide to go to their most significant deal to date. They have huge items which they need to sell. But to their surprise, Kara easily persuades the bullies to purchase all of the things at once. As Kara is about to finalize the deal, Sai intervenes and speaks with the clients. He claims that he wants to bore trust with his customers and that it is okay if they do not purchase all of the items he wishes for their clients to remain loyal in the future. But things go awry when Kara insists on selling everything in one package, causing tensions between her and Sai. Meanwhile, Alex tries to persuade the main client, but their conversation takes a turn for the worse when the client pulls out a gun in anger and cancels the deal. The client also warns Alex and Kara not to attempt to imbue us with anyone else, as they will face severe consequences. The three of them experience a close call when a cop checks out their truck, but thankfully he doesn't do anything. Feeling nervous about staying in their current location, they choose to move to Hong Kong where they can carry out their business operations more smoothly and make a lot of money. However, Alex feels like they're stuck in a rut and life has become dull. He wants to take on a new challenge and get noticed by Sid, along with making more money, at a fancy birthday celebration at a bar, Sai becomes drunk and starts a fight with a stranger, resulting in both Sai and Alex being arrested and taken to jail. Sai realizes his mistake in prison and apologizes to Alex. They are soon released and Kara claims that her uncle assisted them in this. The next day Sai returns with a large sum of money, demonstrating that he can still buy and sell items and is genuinely sorry for his wrong behavior. When Sai reveals the card he used for the transaction, he did. Alex becomes enraged as he had explicitly forbidden Sai from using that card. Alex, furious, tells him he has become careless and could endanger all of them. He then tells Sai to return to Toronto. Sai is broke and agrees to leave peacefully. Alex and Kara then decide to attack all Hong Kong apps to get Sai's attention. They carry out their plan and earn two dollars, three cents million. After hacking the app, they leave a card bearing the Dark Web's logo. When government officials become aware of this, they launch an investigation. On the other hand, their plan is successful, but Kara is not pleased. She expresses her desire to discontinue her involvement in the booziness. Instead, she wishes to enjoy the rest of her days with Alex. On the other hand, Alex disagrees because he wants to punish the banks. While arguing, they notice that has promoted Alex to the position of Dark Web Underboss. Following that, Alex requests a meeting with Z. Initially, Z denies it, but Alex persuades him by saying billions of dollars are on the line. The subsequent day, they travel to a large factory to meet Sid. They meet Sid, who is in a wheelchair inside the factory. Sid warns them that if they want to do work for him, they must not make any mistakes. If they do, they have to die with their friends and families. Alex receives a voicemail from Say, who apologizes for the trouble and requests a second chance. He's at the hotel waiting for Alex and Kara. At the same time, a couple of strangers break into the hotel room unexpectedly. When Alex and Kyra get to the room, they discover Sai dead in the bathtub. Alex realizes it is the doings of the foreign customer who owned the card that Alex forbids Sai from using. They also realize that if Sai had not returned, they would be the ones to die despite his friend's death. Alex chooses to work for Zed. Alex and Kara are now members of Zed's team, planning an attack on the market system. 
They start by faking the assassination of the chairman of the Federal Reserve and quickly disseminate the news and articles about the chairman's death. As a result of the market's rapid decline, other wealthy investors become terrified. Following that, the dark web team divides all the stolen money. After accomplishing their task, Alex and Kara drive back home. However, two unknown agents suddenly abduct them both. The agents bring the pair to an occupied building, separate Alex and Kara, and then leave Alex alone. The agents administer a drug to Alex, causing him to lose consciousness. When Alex wakes up, he realizes that his possessions have been ruined. Alex has no idea who these individuals are and why they kidnapped them. He then attempts to contact Karen Zed, but fails to reach them. After that, Alex flees to Bangkok to meet Kara. It turns out that they had made a promise to meet at the Temple of Dawn two days after the operation. The days pass, but Kara does not appear. Alex begins to feel isolated. One day, he visits a sober cave to check the internet. Alex pays with his phony credit card. He discovers that the state government has shut down the dark web on the internet. He also learns that the government has apprehended Zed and assassinated Kara. Meanwhile, the Sepper Caves owner contacts the police to report using a forged card. After serving his sentence, Alex is released from prison. Upon stepping outside, he is greeted by Kara who has been waiting for him. At first, Alex struggles to come to terms with his time behind bars, but eventually he begins to think about starting anew. He feels the weight of his imprisonment and deeply misses his parents. Kara confesses the reality when questioned. It turns out that her uncle, who was suspicious, was actually a Shia agent. He utilized Kara to get closer to Alex and lead him to the forefront of the dark web. All the client's fates and schemes were a part of the Shia's plan to apprehend Zed and shut down the entire cybercrime operation. Kara also explains that the Shia had another plan for her, forcing her to wait for Alex's release from prison. At the end, Alex and Kara escape the turmoil and have a chance to start over. If you want to see more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications. Thank you for tuning in.